All right, Vision OS 2 just dropped for the Apple Vision Pro, bringing some game-changing updates that take your experience to the next level. Whether you're using it for work or play, these new features are a must-see. So we're gonna break down the top five features that stood out the most to us and why they matter. Okay, the first feature that really stood out to us was the new hand gestures to make it easy to access yes. the home view and the control center. So I always had issues looking up. I had to like really do my eyebrows a certain great. way and like wait for the little green dot and bring tiny. down control center. <laughs> yeah, it's, and that was like kind of frustrating. I kind of like eventually got the hang of it, but it was just a little awkward. Now you just palm up and you pinch and you can bring up the home view with all your apps and then you palm down and that's gonna bring up the status bar, your control uh, center and that's going to give you like the time, the battery percentage, Wi-Fi icons, and control, uh, volume controls. So you can easily adjust the volume. You just pinch and drag left to right to adjust the volume. The second feature that really stood out a lot for us was being able to personalize your home view. Before, all the apps were just organized alphabetically. You couldn't move them around. Now you can actually rearrange apps. So you just look at them, pinch and hold, and then you can drag them to another page, to your main page if it's an app that you use the most. You can also do this with the compatibility apps as well. So you know they're in that little folder. You can rearrange them in that folder, but you can also pull them out. So like Mirror Play, we use that a lot. Now I can actually just pull that out, put it in home view on our main screen, and I can easily access it. So that's really great. Now you still can't organize apps and put them into folders. That would be kind of nice because you know, now we have a good amount of apps yeah. and you gotta like flip through a million one pages. So this is a good start. Hopefully in the future, you'll be able to like put them in folders like you can on the iPhone. Yeah, maybe Apple's gonna bring that in a future update. I would Apple. like to hope. Yeah, I would really <laughs> like that. <laughs> now the third feature of Vision OS 2 and we think the best feature yes. is to turn 2D photos into spatial photos. Oh good. It's amazing. <laughs> you open up the photo library and then you click on like, you know, open up a photo rather. Mm -hmm. And like in that photo, you're gonna see a cube the 3D cube at the top and you click on that, a little animation happens yeah. and within like a few seconds, seconds, it turns a 2D photo into a 3D photo. It's so good. This tech is awesome. Yeah. And it looks like it was already like yeah. a 3D taken as a 3D photo. Yeah, there's no like image warping or anything. It just looks good. It has good depth in it. Um, some things might be a little weird, like yeah, because we did that horseshoe. Yeah, did the horseshoe. When we were at the beach, there was a picture of the horseshoe crab. Yeah. And it made that look a little too big. It just, it made it look a little weird. Also, well, it kind of distorted the shape a little bit, yeah. possibly. Yeah. So, but it kind of, I guess it's kind of estimating like what it would look like from the view that you looked at it. And then yeah. we had the one um, photo where you were like waving the hand was a little distorted, but overall everything mm -hmm. looks great. And this is just like the first iteration of it. I'm sure it's going to improve all the time. Yeah. And then you can open like immersive mode in it. And that kind of like, you're actually there in the photo. Cause like when you first yeah. do it, you're kind of looking at it, you're looking into it, it's like 3D, but then you can do the immersive. And I'm telling you with like old photos, old memories, yeah. this is like really going to bring new life into those. Even the beach photos yeah. that we did, like I literally felt like I could just walk out into the sand and I would, like I was there. Yeah. It was really good. It's a really great feature, guys. Now, another feature that really stood out for us was being able to now watch video shows, movies, whatever from sites like YouTube and Netflix on a massive screen right in Safari. And you can also watch them in immersive mode. So we had like Mount Hood and you know, it's got the water. So like the screen, there was kind of like a reflection on the water and a glow from the screen. And this is great that you can do this in Safari now because obviously there's still no native YouTube or Netflix app on the Apple Vision Pro. Obviously you have Juno for YouTube, which we've used and Supercut for Netflix. So you could always use those, but now you can just do it right in Safari. And you can also watch panoramic photos in Safari as well like you could in the photos app so you know the panoramics they wrap around you so that's really cool you can do all that in safari okay a fifth feature that we thought was really cool was airplay to mirror to apple vision pro mm -hmm. so your apple vision pro can now be an airplay receiver and you can mirror content from other devices like your iphone or your ipad mm -hmm. you got to just make sure you're on the same network so to turn it on you go to settings general airplay continuity and then turn on airplay receiver you can also adjust uh, who can airplay to the Apple Vision Pro, or you can set a passcode. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do something like 
your iPhone and you don't want like, you know, to take the headset off and you know, you're you're trying to look at your iPhone through the Apple Vision Pro. I mean, you it's good. See it, but, yeah, yeah, it's good, but this is better. This is better. Yeah, so you can bring your your iPhone right up there in the Apple Vision Pro it's and it looks clear. great. It's so really I was nice. like I was looking at like a YouTube videos and like the iPhone has got a pretty great screen, but then when I was looking at the Apple Vision Pro, like I could see more detail in the video I was watching. I don't know if it upscales. I yeah, don't know. It, it just looks really great. Another, you know, using these micro uh, OLED displays, I mean, it, it, it just looked amazing. Uh, you can also uh, resize the window so you can make it larger or smaller. And like I mentioned, it's another way to watch YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be watching more YouTube videos that way. Another reason to uh, use Apple Vision Pro, people running out of uh, you know, things they want to do with Apple Vision Pro. Here, here's something else that, that we think is really great. Yeah. All right, now, bonus feature is not available yet, but we definitely wanted to include it because I think it's definitely going to be one of the best features when it comes out is the panoramic productivity with Mac virtual display. So right now you get a screen, right? But it's not super big. So you can't really have like multiple like windows and different things up. This is going to be like an expandable ultra wide screen that wraps around you. And they say it's gonna be equivalent to two 4K displays sitting side by side. So that is really, really great. You'll be able to have multiple windows up. So, you know, we can edit now and not just have a Final Cut. I can have Final Cut open and I can have like Safari and my Finder windows and everything. So now it's definitely gonna take our productivity to the next level. Okay, so those are our top five features from Vision OS 2.0 that we really like. Let us know down in the comments which one you really think mm -hmm. are great. And also, if you're looking forward to the panoramic Mac virtual display as well, please do remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. It's really going to help us uh, bring content like this. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.